Hey guys, RC here, back with Draft Day Sports Pro Football 20, Episode 6. We're in Season 2 now, the start of Season 2. Uh, as you may remember, we did not sign our defensive coordinator or our head coach last year. So I was checking this out. So here's your draft order. We ended up with pick number 25. So we're down at the tail end of the draft. Uh, coaching carousel prediction. So... Uh, experts have identified these uh, seven or eight guys as the primary candidates for different, uh, you know, that for, for coaching jobs. Uh, and then the speculation. So Indianapolis Colts are looking for a head coach, Cleveland Browns, uh, the Saints. Wow, the Saints are looking for somebody. In another guy going to the Colts. Well, they can only sign one, right? And all right, here's some big retirements. Jay Howard from the Chargers after eight seasons. Brian Anger has retired after eight seasons. Joe Flacco, 12 years in the league, has retired. Uh, Michael Bennett, defensive end from New England after 11 years. Tom Brady has hung it up after 20 years. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I swear, I don't know that that day is ever going to come. I know it will, but really, I mean, that, when that day comes and you guys see that, aren't you going to be stunned? I, I don't care how old the guy is. He could be five more years. Aren't you going to be shocked? I, I, think I'll, I think I'll be shocked no matter when that happens. Uh, kicker from Buffalo, 12 seasons, has retired. 10 year, 9 years, 14 seasons, Jonathan Joseph. Adam Vinatieri, 24 seasons. Oh, he waited and he retired with his buddy Tom. Uh, let's see. Bill Dawson, Benny Cunningham, Mark Ingram already? Wow. I mean, he just got traded from the Saints. Hmm. Adrian Peterson retires, 13 years. Jason Witten came back for one year and retired. Ah, that He will be missed. Drew Brees retired. Oh, my God. No. Maybe the coach retired, too, because uh, Sean Payton retired because he was like, well, Brees is gone. I'm going to get out of here while the getting's good. <laughs> Jimmy Graham, Eric Decker. Wow. All right, so I need uh, staff signing week. All right. It's got to be somewhere, right? Hello. Where's it at? Office, email, standings, uh, search. All right. That's, that's for players. Staff. All right, um, I'm going to let him go. Yes, I do. All right, now. View, oh, here we go. Click View Coaches. All right. Uh, head Coaches. Hide with no interest. All right, we're going to sort by, well, I was going to sort, but I can't sort. That's all right. Um, okay. Quentin Woodworth, Power Hybrid. Good morale, good flexibility, good leadership. He's four star on offense. Three years at eight million a season. Ralph Harris is 50, a vertical hybrid. I really wish I knew what ratings were really important here, right? Um, Q 
Okay, no. Two and a half, two and a half. Come on. Ah, uh, you gotta, you gotta give me something here, man. All right, that's where I want to go. I wanted to be able to see this. So Stanley Ashworth, but he's not on here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. yeah. These are guys that are free agents. I got gotcha. you. These are guys that are currently with teams that we can go out and try to hire. Yeah. All right. So a lot of defensive coordinators. Chad O'Neill. Let me see what I think about you. Well, you're 62. So not real keen on that. John Garcia. You're more of a defensive guy. Not that there's anything wrong with defense, right? Defense wins championships is the rumor. <laughs> Ashworth is a defensive guy. More defense. Now, he's really good at defense. I'll give him that. hide those with no interest all right that you know that, that's fine it's good to know who you don't have a shot with right um ashworth of the bears chad o'neill let's see if i can find him where's he at there he is 62 years old. Do I really want now? He's really damn good. Five stars. Holy shit. Um, assess ability. But do I want a 62 year old head coach? Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, let's see. Hector Aker. Defense. See, I wish, I wish there was something in here we could sort out, right? Robert Reed, Michael Hewitt from the Bills. He's more of a defensive guy. See, I wish there was an easier way to tell if they were offense or defense in here. But you know what? I like this Ashworth guy. He likes the West Coast. I don't like his assessment, though. Uh, let me close this. Let's take a look at our offensive coordinator. All right, so we're three and a half stars, and he can do potential, right? Hmm. Hmm. All right, private candidates, hide those with no interest. Randall Phillips. Yeah, there needs to be another, some more filters on here. I'm not, I'm not really happy with this. Anyway, I wanted you guys to see this, so let me figure out, because I don't want to waste a whole episode. Well, you know what? Screw it. This is just going to probably be an off-season episode episode we may have one or two of these but you know this helps you guys kind of look and see i honestly don't know what i'm looking for so he's 2-2 two, two. he's 54 so he's relatively young got good morale he's not very good at motivating charisma leadership morale scouting offense I'd like a little better preparation, possibly. Flexibility, loyalty. Andy Dalton had a good year under Barry at <laughs> morale, 
coaching offense. I don't know, maybe him. Five million a year. He can really assess ability. That's not bad. Yeah, I don't like having to go through every single freaking person. This is stupid. Nothing personal. Nothing personal. But this, this part is not good. <laughs> I don't like having to click every single person. I should be able to look at ratings on a spreadsheet view. And I should be able to sort by different categories. You know, all of that. He's not bad, but boy, can I hire anybody from... I live in Houston, and I hate the Houston Texans. Long, Well, it's, it's not a long story, but I, I just don't like them. Uh, no. Ooh, hello. Hello, Moto. Doesn't have much in the way of leadership. Scouting. Oh. Accessibility. So, you know what? I'm going to hire this guy. I don't know why. Have no idea. Jenkins? I think I'm going to hire him. Boom. Yes. Uh, I want to offer him, we'll give him a three year deal, five and a half million a year. Boom. Okay, and the other thing I need to do is Okay, if we close that Public candidates, then I can do this drop down and we can go to defensive coordinators No, 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 no So I need a defensive coordinator Kenneth Jolly, not employed, very good. Assess, two years, four and a half. Uh, definitely the most expensive guy. But I do want somebody that can coach the defense. These guys all suck. Uh, he's not bad. Good morale. He can't scout, but he can coach defense. 47 years old. Don Gallardo. We'll keep him in mind. Now, he's got a little bit better preparation. He's 54. You know what? I'm going to hire him. It just hired him. No contract, nothing. Boom. Done. Okay. I guess. <clears throat> Alright, I'm kind of lost here. So where can I go? Head coaches. Private candidates. Didn't I? Ma I made an offer to. Now, now they're sorted by rating. Okay, and he gives up. Who did I? Who did I forget? Who I offered? It was the Miami Dolphins guy, was it not? Jenkins, right here. Hello. Uh, yeah, I think I think so. Wasn't that who I offered? Okay, well, hmm. I give up. Well, that was different. So then maybe what I need to do is close this. He's actually got a pretty well-rounded personality. So what if I... See, now I don't know what to do because I don't know if I've actually got an offer out on anybody. 
I don't know how to tell if I've got an offer out on anybody. Right? Can't tell shit. You're not communicating very well with me here, Wolverine Studios. But this is good because, you know, then maybe they can see how a player's actually looking at stuff and go, okay, we need to tweak that because this kind of doesn't make sense. All right, so if I go back to staff, he's gone. No picture available. All right, so I've got him. He got hired. I'm going to promote him. Boom. Now he's got both jobs. All right, so now we need to hire an offensive coordinator. I guess. Again, I have no idea. Clyde Hanna, 54, 46, 47. Mark Counts. All right, I like you. Three years, $4 million. Can I afford you? All right, well, there you go. All right, you're my guy, I guess. You're in there. You're in the list. Boom. I've got my staff. Just real quick. So what was uh, Prescott, 93? So it doesn't look like even changing two coaches that it's changed. Now what I want to do here is I just want to, I'm going to take a picture of this with my phone. So bear with me. All right, what I want to be able to do is then look at our OVRs for everybody, right? Oh, by the way, did our uh, Tyron Smith, let's look at, at contracts, Tyron Smith. So he has not signed a contract yet. So I don't, I don't know if that contract is out there. I don't know if it's pending. I don't know if it's screwed up. I have no idea. No clue. No clue whatsoever. Now we are 89 million this year. Doesn't tell me what. Well, let's advance the week. Advance the league. Yeah, I think I'm finished with that stage. All right, so Kansas City, New England, Jets, Colts. We got to be in here somewhere, right? I mean, we're a team even though we're owned by me. Oh, here we go. They promote David Brooks to head coach. And no, that's that's all they put. I, I did hire a new guy, yeah? Yeah, maybe? Hmm? No? Okay, I do have an email. I did have an offer out to him, but I didn't have the job available, so he probably, yeah. So you didn't want to come coach my team. You wanted to stay as a coordinator. Cool. All right, staff signing week. Okay, so I think the way this is broken down, so you make the offers, and this is the week you can go after guys that are currently on other teams, as well as free agents. Then in week two, you get your results. It's telling us right here. You can review the results of your offers, and then you can make additional offers to your private candidates. Uh, so these are guys... What? Jesus, ma'am. Holy crap. <laughs> Jeez. And he is fixed. I don't know what the hell that is. Um, all right. So click on your team staff. All right. So we've got three years, three years, five years. What is your deal? Come here. What is your issue, George? My God. All right, so five years, three years, three years. All right, so these guys are under contract. They're good to go. Boom. Nice. All right. Six, 10, 13.3, 18.6. Okay, so we have a staff budget of 20. We spent 18.6 on all four positions combined. That leaves us 1.4 million to scout. I don't know if that's good or bad, but if you have to have factor scouting in, that's probably not good. You want to be as cheap as possible in here. 
I, I, I could see that being an issue. All right, um, we don't need any more staff, so we're going to go ahead and advance to the next stage, but this is where you would sign more people. Uh, let's see. Now, this is cool, the league news. So it basically gives you an idea of what different teams need. We need a tight end, and that's really it. Uh, the Packers need a whole lot. Uh, Lions need a quarterback. Falcons need a quarterback. Probably backups. But let's see. I'm looking for the Saints and the Patriots. Patriots need a quarterback. I would guess. No, the Saints are not listed as needing a quarterback. I guess they're going to go with Teddy Bridgewater. Not sure how I feel about that as a Saints fan. All right, so free agency. Where are we at time-wise? 20 minutes. Uh, so we want to go look at... Can I scout the next draft yet? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, I have no clue. There was something really freaking weird about this. And the biggest problem is trying to allocate your points. Now, I don't have any points left yet. All right, so I guess we're not scouting yet. That's fine. All right, sign free agents. All right, we're going to clear. We're going to check tight ends. And we're going to sort by OBR. So we've got a 36-year-old Zach Miller. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. Some 40-year-old guys. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. Gee whiz. Oh, wait. Who's this dude? Adam Brenneman. He's got a 70. Um, strength, speed hands, endurance. Values playing time. We have... Uh, no blocking. So he's a pass-catching tight end only. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. I tend not to play the free agent market too much in these games just because I just don't think you get what you pay for too often. I would much rather trade for somebody. Um, let's look here. Let's look at tight end. No tight ends. All right. Damian Williams. Dalvin Cook. Compare to... Ezekiel Elliott. Same age. Signed for an extra year, less money. Endurance. Elliott's a little bit better run blocker. Cook's a little bit better pass blocker. Cook has better hands. Ezekiel's got a little bit better speed, but not a ton. More agile, equal, basically, and eh, not too bad. 4.7, 4.4. He only had 75 attempts last year. Um, I am going to try something just, just, just to see. Um, if I... If I go to my roster and I find you, there's nowhere All right, 
bio ratings stats contract hello there is nowhere to do that all right so let's go back to trade players again um elliot um who needs a running back anybody cardinals need a running back Ravens could use a running back. Let's trade with Baltimore. They're in the other. They're in the other league, the other Divit conference. All right. Um, do they have a tight end that I would like? Oh, these are the guys that are on the trade block. If if they're on the trade block, which they're not. Well, maybe they are. I don't know. All right. I would like a. I would like a tight end. So Nick Boyle. And I would like two first round picks. And I will give them a fourth round pick back this year. They do not want to sell Nick Boyle. All right, well, if I take that off and then don't offer that, so so then if we take that off and do a second and a first, wow, you're kidding. Oh, wait, oh, it took him off, bummer. So let's put the first back up there. All right, so then if we turn that off, I don't know why Ezekiel was not. Damn, and it took off the draft pick. All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm seeing things that I think I'm clicking that are not staying clicked. The other thing I don't have is how do I put somebody on the trade block? Well, maybe right there. Okay, cool. We'll try to trade him. We'll figure that out. Um, I'm going to put him on the trade block too. I like Sean Lee. Too injury prone. All right, what else? Anything else? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, I just, you know, like in uh, in out-of-the-park baseball, you're able to kind of put a guy and then, like, so, you know, offer up for trade, and then you kind of get offers back from other teams. At least it gives you an idea of where to start with some shit. Um, you know, if I've got to just look, yeah, that's, that's rough. Um, I could see never making a trade in this game. Um, anyway... But at least I can throw guys up on the block and then maybe guys will approach me. We'll go from there. Um, I don't need any, but well, I do need a tight end, but you know what? I don't have, I don't have anybody. Um, and nobody was on the trade block, right? No. Um, free agents. Do I sign this guy for like a one-year deal? I mean, he's still good. He's still good. Let's 
So he wants three years at 1.9 front heavy. And I can't change that. Wow. Hello. Um, uh, do I want to offer that much for a 36-year-old? Darren Fells. He's got good hands. Can he block? Not really. Certainly not one of the pass blocking tight ends. Brent Selleck. He can block. Hell yeah, he can block. He's got good hands. He's 35. What's he want? 750,000? I don't want four years. Hello, hello. Click. Oh, okay. So we have to actually go here. Well, I tell you what, we're at 31 minutes. Let's put a cut here. This has gotten us through some of the early off season stuff. I think it'll be beneficial to go through this at least one season, right? Just to, you know, so we can see how everything works. Uh, so we'll get into free agency. Looks like we have to click the arrows to move into it. We'll do that uh, to start off next episode. Guys, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you don't mind. If you like what you're seeing, uh, let me know. And we will see you guys next episode. Have a good one. Bye.